Good morning. Dave here. Well, I tried out my new forge, and I got to say it's a, an unqualified success for this newbie. I forged out this uh, this little. If I can get it on here. Where is it? This pineapple twist this morning just now. I know it's not perfect, and I'm not presuming to show anybody how to do this. I watched uh, YouTube videos and there's some guys out there really know what they're doing and this is uh, really uh, probably a poor example but I got it done and I'm not beat up I'm not wore out when I did this one with the old forge which probably came out pretty good and there's another uh, type of twist that a gentleman showed on YouTube and I did those two separate times, and I could tell you, uh, for whatever reason, I'm no spring chicken, but it wore me out. Just a little, uh, probably not more than an hour or so of forging. And uh, for some reason, I'm going to attribute it to the size of the forge, the firebox. Now, I'm going to give you the dimensions. That uh, other one, the one that I uh, pulled out of service, was a eight by ten by five inches deep and uh, that's what suggested as your minimum firebox and since I was struggling and and I'm uh, I'll tell you I'm learning but uh, this firebox here is uh, 14 inches long 10 inches wide and six inches deep so I went quite a bit more and uh, and I believe it's probably because of uh, bigger firebox uh, more coals uh, the, your uh, seasoned fire uh, blacksmith say you need to have when you when you heat your metal you want to have at least a couple inches of, of hot coals under the metal so you have to have a, a good sized firebox and this one here it for me uh, I'm not tired I worked out here for about an hour and and I got it done and it heated it up better faster and uh, for some reason it's working better for me so I'm gonna say that this for me is an unqualified success I I did uh, build my fire I started my fire with a, a bed of uh, charcoal now the bigger firebox allows that so I built a, a pretty good size of um, charcoal down in the bottom and uh, definitely just started that up now that that will start real easily I just put a little bit of paper in the bottom and let it turn the crank she starts right up and uh, then I just uh, started pushing the, the coals now this is uh, this is already once burnt coal which is to say a lot of it is coked up already which is going to help a lot in heating and uh, and I didn't burn the metal this time before I'm learning how to control it I want to show this now if you see the end the end is actually when I tried this uh, with the other forge I actually burnt the end you can <laughs> burn your metal up and that piece there I figured hey got nothing to lose I'm going to go ahead and forge on it and I uh, was twisting it and the little end twisted I'll go ahead and cut that off I'm going to use this as a uh, counterweight for my ash dump down here actually this uh, works pretty good I got a piece of rebar and I think that uh, little piece of square bar with the uh, uh, pineapple twist on the end of it uh, be a little more decorative like nobody will see it anyway but uh, just uh, making my little bits and pieces and using them and trying to make things look nice well thanks for watching and, uh, leave any comments if you like it uh, give me a thumbs up bye